And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Ezreal. This is an interesting looking Shurima, Piltover, and Zon deck um, submitted by a viewer on YouTube that said that uh, they'd been playing this to some good success. Seeing that we did play a insightful investigator Zillion deck um, a few days ago, maybe four or five days ago or something like that. Um, and they said that, hey, I've, I have a deck like that that's been doing really well. And uh, so this was their deck code. Want to try this out? I think Ezreal could be really nice for us, and we have lots of good interaction. Love, we got triple Death Ray in here. And I think that the Death Ray is actually, because like, the Death Rays are going to be good against aggro, but I think that's actually could be pretty cool with Predict as well. Because you know how, like, with Death Ray, like, you want to have, like, the one mana, one damage removal against your aggro decks, but they can also kind of clog your draws, like, where, you know, like, you draw, like, mk2 then mk3 and like you don't really get to get through your deck but i think that this can um, help mitigate that in a few ways one there's just a lot of card draw in here to begin with preservarium veteran investigator and then of course insightful investigator really drawing a lot of cards and so when you draw a lot of cards you want a lot of cheap cards uh, to be able to empty out your hand and so that helps with that um, but two but then you also have predict where we have like the Ancient Preparations, Aspiring Chronomancer, of course, the Zillion. And so the Predict is kind of nice because like if you use an MK1, like sometimes like I'll use an MK1, but I don't really want to draw the MK2. Or, you know, maybe you played the MK2, but you don't want to draw the MK3. Well, you can like predict and shuffle it away, right? So it doesn't have to be one of your top cards in your deck. Um, so that's kind of nice too. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So we're going to also have three Ancient Hourglass to protect our champions. And um, I've been very impressed with Hourglass recently, protecting the champions. Hourglass was great in the Talia Renekton deck we played a few days ago. It was great in our Lucky Victor deck recently. With this deck, I think it could be pretty cool with Ezreal. So what, what could be pretty nice with our deck is if we level up Ezreal, right, whenever you cast a spell, it's dealing damage to the enemy Nexus. Well, what if we have our leveled up Ezreal, and then we hourglass it away, and then we play a new Ezreal, and then our first one will come back, and so you can have multiple Ezreals in play, so each spell is doing two damage, you know, you target something, you're dealing four damage to the enemy Nexus, right? Like, multiple Ezreals in play will just kill the opponent so fast. And so that could be really interesting. So that's going to be like maybe a way for us to finish games out. We also have the Psy Scout, which could have Elusive. Um, this will be something that I'll probably want to play after we uh, play Zillion and get some Time Bombs. And then maybe we can choose Time Bomb and get this thing to be Elusive. Um, and then just like some other interaction and removal. So looks pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and give it a try. We'll go play five games in Ranked with this Zillion Ezreal list. Oh, another Ezreal deck. This is not going to be a good matchup for us with all the Pup Caps. Right, we're going to need to try to deal with those Pup Caps immediately. Um, so I guess I, I kind of actually want to keep the Scrying Sands. Because if they go round one Teemo... Scrying... No, nah, that's not worth it. I was going to say Scrying Sands would stop them from getting the uh, five Pup Caps. But that's not worth it. I obviously wanted to really find Death Ray, right? Death Ray would have been the best to find. But it looks like we got Mystic Shot and Gotcha. Because we are a super slow deck that's going to draw a ton of cards. So Puff Caps are going to be pretty rough. So the two best cards in their deck are going to be Teemo and Puff Cap Peddler. So those are going to be pretty rough. Death Ray. No Death Ray. Psyker, I think, with the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. First sub of the day, also. No, second sub of the day. Mafia Plot resubbed, and I did not mark that down. Hey, good looking. Back at you. Armed and ready. No sweat. So I imagine my opponent has Troll Chant. Imagine they have that. 
Finally, Death Ray. That's going to be pretty important. Not and ready. Wow, not even the Ezreal. Firing. No way. Okay, so I, I like the MK2. I'm going to just uh, keep the spell mana. I think that, you know, if we draw the MK2, I'm happy. So that's why I didn't play any of these predict things. Um, I can kind of see playing this, taking this hourglass. I also see skipping. I'll go with the hourglass. The way is always the same. Usually happy to have an hourglass. All right, gonna take aftershock to be able to blow up the um, landmark that they play. I guess with like time bombs being potentially a thing, I probably sh shouldn't be allowing them to get three damage in on one of these things like this. But I am happy with that. Fine with me. All their champions are like 60% leveling up. Man, no time bombs. No time bombs. Now, I just don't want to like draw that many cards, but I guess I just need to choose this Preservarium, give this elusive. not look good finding a time bomb. Let me see. Don't know how many of each champion they're going to have. We do know that they have another, as at least one other Ezreal in their deck, because they, you know, use the Ezreal champion spell whenever they had an Ezreal before. There we go. Zillion die so I can play a new one so we can get four more time bombs in the deck. Now, then, or soon. Yes, Death Ray can put yourself in front of, can put itself in front of your predict. So if we go um you know, if we predict, put something on top, and then play Death Ray, then Death Ray will just look at the top three and put something. So it could be the, the very next card. That is possible. So 
we got leveled up Zillion with now a bunch of removal spells. Oh, that's a harvest right there. It's gonna make like a bunch more like so we're gonna like create the MK from Zillion, then we're gonna have these MKs. This MK Zillion is honestly really interesting. It's kind of fascinating of like how this is gonna work. Right? Like this is actually like cause like these things are This is actually pretty fascinating. Cause yeah, I guess they don't they just don't want to play anything again. Um... It's crying sands. I've practicing, and it's not perfect, but look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Because, yeah, like, they can't play anything because then I have, like, these against other... against new stuff. I don't really need that scrying sands. Let's get Mystic Shot. This is pretty fascinating. We get Psy Scout. What else we get? Of course, that Psy Scout just gets shuffled back into the deck now. Um, I guess the MK1, because I guess like these MKs are actually good to have anyway to put like the MKs into the deck, so like we don't draw puff caps. That's actually kind of nice too. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Gonna throw one of those to create another one. Make it less likely that we draw a puff cap. Not completely unlikely, just less likely. All right, there we go. It's actually pretty cool. I like this. Zillion with a bunch of like cheap removal spells. Zillion lasers. And yeah, now we're gonna have all these MKs and Mystic Shots against this small unit deck. That should be good. We gotta find our MKs and Mystic Shots though. Funsmith is probably unnecessary. Unnecessary. Funsmith doesn't work with Time Bomb uh, to begin with, but um, probably just in a card that's not too necessary. Whoa! Haven't I been here before? Quickly. No Time Bombs or MKs or Mystic Shots. But taking the others, taking the backup zillion again, so like, you know, we can have this zillion die and get the new zillion. Without a sound. I don't have confidence that this will work, and yeah, that makes sense. A 
Wait, just checking. Kills that zillion, which I wanted it to die. Wow. Still not a time bomb. I'm just gonna skip this time. Now, then, or soon. I always wondered what was out there. The death ray would be nice. I will definitely trade Psy Scout for Repose. Repose is really good. Oh no. We got two mana gotcha. Mm. I gotta hope this works. Maybe shouldn't have played the time bomb. Okay, that's good. I think I could have done this better. I see someone's been practicing their adorbus spells, just like you showed me, Lulu. Once. gonna die at the beginning of combat anyway. I guess their their hand just must, must not be very good. Man, I don't want to, but I'm at five. Five is not very much life. This is super scary. This is so scary. <laughs> Ooh. I will level up Ezreal. They'll still trade. That sharp sight was nice. Yeah, this deck does play very similar to uh, Zillion Swain.
time for a true display of skill. Mm. In case that card is sharp sight. That's oh, another flower child. I don't miss. I guess it makes sense to do this first. Man, that was so close. GG's about it. So close. Easy. Like my name. Two mana. Ugh. I assume this is gonna be our, our bad matchup, right? Just like huge dragons and fury and stuff. I, I assume this is gonna be where we will struggle. Okay, cool. We got something to kill a Zoe. And we got our zillions. needed to find that removal spell for Zillion. Or sorry, 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 for Zoe. Now it's Zillion time. So we'll shuffle away that MK2. Which is okay. Ooh. These are good options. I'll just take the time bomb, but obviously the champions are good options as well. Okay, no Shivana. Let's see if they, you know, if they had Shivana, I was gonna have Gotcha be able to help out. Screeching Dragon. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Listen to me. Just gotta use a good amount of cards to try to deal with these dragons. They're not easy to deal with. Basically, I wanted to draw this MK3, which is why I'm just going with this time bomb right now. Man, I kind of need to kill that Dragon Chow. It's not looking good. Not looking good for the home team. We were forged in dragon fire. I think this is a, just our, our roughest matchup, just these big dragons of fury.
Not a sharp sight. But then I really insult Good hand, opponent. Good hand. Of course, that car is fleeting, which is why I played it. My, how they stare. All right, two and one. Okay, another Teemo Ezreal deck. So this time we can certainly assume three Teemo, three Ezreal, no Sejuani. I'm glad about that because that Sejuani is difficult for me to deal with, of course. We'll keep Zillion, hopefully find... I guess we don't we don't have the attack token around one, which is... Okay, cool. I was going to say, hopefully find a Death Ray. This should always be like round two, Teemo. Whenever you're whenever you're playing against Piltover and Zon, you always round two, Teemo, because of like thermogenic beam normally. But um, you know, also death ray, because then you can have you know troll chant to protect. So them having the attack token right there, I was worried about um, you know, I play Zillion, they play another Teemo right there, which is why I passed. I mean this is this was a viewer like this was a, a deck list that a viewer on YouTube submitted. I didn't I didn't put this together at all or anything. I thought you'd never ask. But Correct. I, I'm not big on ancient preparations, but it's fine. Like it's one mana, so I think it actually fits. I, th I think it fits well in this deck because you want lots of really cheap cards. So they can have like troll chant plus elixir of iron. Isn't that likely? But that's a possibility. Got another Teemo, I suppose. Don't blink, or you miss me. Hey, good looking. Back at you. No way. A lot of people play Zillion because time bombs are incredible and leveled up Zillion. Uh, create lots and lots of cards for you. Alright, so two Ezreals are dead. One Teemo is dead. Um, the card I'm the most scared of in their deck is uh, Puffcat Peddler. Keeping this Weighted Judgment available for Puffcat Peddler. We have three Ezreals in our hand, and extra Ezreals are kind of nice. Like they can put Ezreals back into the deck that wouldn't have puff caps on them. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. Taking the ancient preparations because it costs one mana. All the cheapest cards we can have. Since we're drawing so many cards each round. Observe 
I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. But look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I would like to do seven damage to that follower, please. Again, I really like the MKs of, you know, they're cheap. They put other spells into the deck that don't have puff caps. Sure. I don't know why you considered killing Zillion over killing Ezreal, but... Three, six, eight... I do have too many cards in hand. No, we'll keep that for now. Let's do this one. Yeah, we're looking great right now. Wow. We are looking so good. A moment in time to listen. Time for a true display of skill. Oh no, opponent, we're gonna have two Ezreals, come on! Let's have two Ezreals in play. <laughs> well, of course. Mm, they have a Rillian Soul, I don't want to see a Rillian Soul. I wonder if this is my um, Seasonal Tournament deck. I played Zoe, Victor, Rillian Soul in Seasonal Tournament. It could be that deck. Possibility. That's possible. Possibility. That'd be really cool. These are the champions. Like, this is the deck that I use to rank up to qualify for the seasonal tournament to get in that top 700. Keeping Mystic Shot available just in case it was a Zoe. Just in case of surprise Zoe. Don't blink. Oh, you miss me. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. This deck would be and like these re this region combination would be just perfect if you had like scorched earths, noxion guillotines, like that kind of stuff that could actually kill like the you know anything that could kill a really soul, right? But like you just can't. A really soul is just a card that you just can't beat. You know you do you do have I guess weighted judgment for Eclipse Dragon, I suppose. There's just nothing for a really soul. Is that English? Haven't I been here before? Okay. So one Ezreal down. Time for a true display of skill. I wouldn't necessarily mind playing Chronomancer this round and reshuffling that MK2 away. No way. Yeah, it looks like that's the plan. Always rely on you to keep us safe. Quickly. All right, let's see if we can level up Zillion this round. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I saw some people doing really well with Talia Malphite. There was like one person high up on the leaderboard having that as their rank up deck of choice. Alright, leveled up Zillion. That's the opponent's probably like, come on. Stop having all these Ezreals. And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. I actually wanted Ancient Hourglass there. I was like, wait a minute, I should look for Ancient Hourglass to protect Zillion. Which I could just go Investigator here and see if we draw it. Ooh, okay. Probably not killing. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Probably not killing Zillion. There's the hourglass. Let's go. I get all these free cards. Because level up Zillion is ridiculous. Just here's four free cards. That's a little unnecessary, right? That's just burn. I mean, I want to play the Static Shock, but if I play the Static Shock, then we play the Ancient Hourglass. It's only three other mana. We just gotta wait on... Gotta wait on that. Sure. Love that. So we're definitely playing Ezreal's Mystic Shot here, so that means we can put an additional Ezreal into our deck. Nah, I just, I'm just protecting the Zillion. So we got a fourth Ezreal into the deck now. Which we can find eventually. Hmm, Hush is a card. This would level up Ezreal. Sentence. Give me that hourglass. Yeah, definitely expect them to be keeping the mana up for Hush. So I kind of have infinite cards, but I still don't beat an Aurelian Soul. Argon's history is in each stone and star. Yeah, if you type, if you're in, yeah, if you're in chat, you type exclamation point card and then name name a card or like partially name it. The bot will explain the card for you. Oh. Man, getting Targoned. 
All right, so we're going to Static Shock you and you, and Death Ray you, and that gives me three mana to play these things, and that's perfectly fine. Okay. Hello there. Person with super long username that I can't really pronounce. Ends in Sap. Hey, Sap. Zillion? Mayhaps. Zillion champion spell, not bad. Four mana? Come on. See what I've learned? I don't really need to deal with that hush yet. Let's play this thing first. Bask in her radiant blessing. Yeah, I guess the gotcha goes back to four. Six mana obliterate, maybe. As long as my opponent doesn't play the card or really in soul. I like our chances. I don't think I have any ride negations in here, do I? No, there's no ride negations in here. But we got we got hourglass for protection right now. Find some more death rays. Down to 11. I think 11 is acceptable. gonna pass it we're gonna make some more blockers here but I, I know I like I have that uh, death ray on top I want to draw that death ray oh man we have a, another Ezreal in hand so many Ezreals your path for the mountain changes. 
Ancient Hourglass Ezreal is sweet. But leveled up Zillion, though. We've just gotten a million cards because of leveled up uh, Zillion. Yeah, and there's the hush they've been holding that whole time, like wanting me to attack before and stuff so they could hush things. But we ain't gonna let that happen. Got the other Ezreal Mystic Shot to be able to finish them off, but then plus I want to save my Ezreal, I don't want it to die. Alright, so we went 4 and 1. Man, this deck was really cool. We played some really cool decks today. <laughs> well, of course. We had some really good decks today. I think that the Demacia versions of Dragons, Screeching Dragon is a Nightmare. And then, you know, Screeching Dragon, Eclipse Dragon, Aurelian Soul, like that play pattern. Even Shivana, like Shivana, like with the uh, 03, with the Shivana, the Fury. Um, I think the Demacia Dragons are going to be a really tough matchup. But besides that, I don't know. I think that there's a lot of really good stuff in here. And the thing is, is we were drawing tons of cards and playing all sorts of stuff. And I didn't even really do insightful investigator things, right? Like we never, we didn't even have to do that. Because we still had so much card advantage with leveled up Zillion and all the predicts. We were finding our stuff. I loved having Death Ray in here. I thought that was just a wonderful inclusion. Um, you know, having three Death Rays, because because that's the thing is we have lots and lots of cards, but um, you know, like we want so we want to have cheaper cards and we want to have really good interaction. And this just gave us lots of good interaction, kind of turn after turn, having all these MKs. And then the MKs with the leveled up Zillion um, was pretty fascinating. Of just you know having so much interaction, and obviously that's great with Ezreal. And everything like that. I could even see not even playing Investigator in this deck and playing like, you know, two more Static Shocks and another Weighted Judgment. Like, it didn't seem like we needed the Investigator, right? Like, maybe, you know, like that gives you some more card draw, or even if you want like more Weighted Judgments for the, uh, you know, for the Dragon matchup if you really want that. But um, I could see just kind of doing that. You know, if you want another like Aftershock for the Landmarks or anything, but I don't know if that's really that necessary. I could see just kind of doing that and, and just going with, you know, predicts and zillions and things like that. Like, it just didn't seem, it didn't seem like Insightful Investigator was even necessary. Um, could go with a right. Yeah, could go with a right of negation to help protect your champions later on. Um, could go with a Golden Ambassador. Draw on some champions if you can set up, you know, like you have 2218. If you can, like, predict and set up. But you want to have, like, really cheap cards. And obviously the Static Shock helps with leveling up Ezreal and draws a card and everything like that. Let's see, where's a Ride Negation? But the one Ride Negation is probably good. So maybe add an additional Weight of Judgment, Static Shock, and Ride of Negation instead of the um, Insightful Investigators. Could also see getting rid of it Veteran Investigator then if you if you don't need Insightful. You know, it's not like I, I wasn't like thrilled to ever play a, a Veteran Investigator. Maybe Veteran Investigator turns into like Ruinous Path, but I guess you kind of need some bodies. Maybe. You maybe need some bodies. Yeah, Watcher... I'm sure Watcher is a, re a really tough matchup, too. I guess I guess we just probably don't kill... Because you just don't kill your opponents that fast. So maybe Watcher's really bad, too. Yeah, Watcher counters the slow decks. Anyway, this was this was cool, though. If your opponent's kind of playing some aggro or mid-range, as we saw, um, you know, if they're playing any kind of deck like that, like you can, you can have tons of removal, tons of interaction. Fun one to play here with Zillion Ezreal. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. But that's going to be it here for Zillion Ezreal. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.